1. How to build a timer, countdown and stopwatch like this in Bubble. 2. There are a number of events and actions for each feature. For example, when I start the timer, it will trigger an event called timer is started, in which you can add actions. So I have an event with an action here, it says. When the timer is started a check mark will appear. When I press this start button, it triggers the event which performs an action called show check mark, and the check mark is shown. Same goes for the pause button. When I press the pause button, it triggers an event called timer is paused, it pauses the timer and shows the check mark. The stop button triggers an event called timer is stopped and it stops the timer and shows the check mark. You can add any other action you want instead of showing check marks. 3. There is also a number of events and actions for the countdown feature, which can be used for a special offer on your website, for example. First I will select the starting point. And then start the countdown. It triggers an event called countdown is started, and it performs an action which shows the check mark. Same goes for the stop button. It triggers an event called countdown is stopped, that shows the check mark. There is an event called countdown is finished, which is triggered when the countdown is finished. And when it's finished it will show a check mark here. 4. Same with the stopwatch. The events are Stopwatch is started Lap time is created And stopwatch is stopped. You can save lap times to a repeating group or in your bubble database. 5. Let's begin. First you need to install this plugin to get started. 6. Let's start with the timer. After installing, four new elements will appear in the elements section of your editor. Timer element. Countdown element. Stopwatch element and seconds to time converter element. 7. Drag the timer element on your page. Eight, then you can add some text elements to show the timer values and add some icons to control the timer. Nine, add text elements and check marks for events and actions. Let's build the workflows. You can add other actions to your events based on your preferences.
drag the countdown element from your element section and drop it on your page. Now add a date and time picker for the starting point. And add date slash time pickers value in the property editor of the countdown element. At last add some text elements and check marks for events and actions. Let's build the workflows. Drag the stopwatch element from your element section and drop it on your page. Now add some styling to the element. Then you can add some text elements to show the values. At last add some text elements and check marks for events and actions. Again, 
you can add other actions to your events based on your preferences. Let's build the workflows.
So that's all for this tutorial.